I'm Nigel Campbell with In the Moment in Bed. I play Kylan in the Moment. And tonight I'm in bed with Leonardo. Hello. Leo. Leo, Leonardo, thank you for joining me in bed tonight. I appreciate thank you it. For having me in your bed tonight, Nigel. <laughs> I love where this is going. So my question for you, Leo, yeah. is that uh, in the last 25 years since HIV has really been around and apparent, uh, do you feel like there's been a, a change in the perception of HIV? Do you feel like people view it differently now than they did at that point? Well, of course. There's so much more information that we have about HIV now mm -hmm. versus when it first was discovered mm -hmm. as, an, as a disease. Uh, now we know how it's transmitted. Mm -hmm. Now we know it's sort of life course. Now we do have medicines to actually prevent it, uh -huh. to to decrease its, um, its its ability to destroy our immune systems. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, there's a lot more information out there in terms of preventing it, but also in treating it. Okay. So there's a huge difference. Okay. Thank God. So with that, uh, with those preventative, you know, measures in terms of you know, preventing your, your immune system from being inhibited and that sort of thing. Do you feel like people are more or less cautious about it? Or? Interesting question. I think they were more cautious about it up until the mid 90s when the ARVs, the antiretrovirals came along. Mm -hmm. um, after the antiretrovirals came along, gay men saw that people were able to take these medicines mm -hmm. and to live on them success successfully. Mm -hmm. And, and to carry on basically normal lives. Mm -hmm. So people are now not seeing HIV as such a huge issue. Okay, okay. They're seeing it as something that's treatable, like diabetes, mm -hmm. something that they can pop a pill for, mm -hmm. and if they get it, they can just you know, sort of go on with their normal okay, lives. Okay. I think there's been a step backwards in that, in that sense, unfortunately. Okay, right. Yeah. So I guess along those same lines then, is it something that's discussed amongst, like, you know, say your friends? Is there a dialogue about HIV and safe sex and prevention, or is that less so at this point? Amongst my friends, yes, it is. Um, but I, I have a biased group of friends who are I incredibly informed and educated about HIV and prevention and, you know, things they can do to, to lessen the chance that they get it. Okay. And also treatments on STIs, because getting STIs increases the chance that you'll get HIV. Mm -hmm. Amongst people that I work with, because I volunteer at the LA Gay and Lesbian Center as a, an HIV counselor and STD counselor on every Friday, I, I find that um, that is not necessarily so discussed uh, amongst their partners, whether they be long term or hookup partners or just casual partners. It's not discussed, unfortunately. And I do think that there's a huge vacuum of information out there that's not being filled. And um, I'd like to see their be more discussed and that be more discussed people discussing their HIV status even if you're on Craigslist or Adam for Adam and you're like D&D &D free dude what does D&D &D free mean huh spell it out for me what does that mean when did you last get tested mm -hmm. what were your results and you know what does that mean for us and you touched on this but what are ways to keep ourselves safe well there's you know I'm not even going to talk about abstinence because that's ridiculous that's right-wing craziness um, I think the most reasonable way is to to be aware of your partner's status, mm -hmm. STD status, whether it's syphilis or gonorrhea or chlamydia mm -hmm. or HIV status, mm -hmm. and then to use condoms accordingly. One of the things you can do is actually to go get tested with your partner, to go to the LA Gay and Lesbian Center, to go to AIDS Healthcare Foundation, the Men's Sexual Health Clinic, mm -hmm. or to go to your local, your, your private physician if you have private insurance and get tested for all of these STIs. I just got tested Friday, by the way. See what your status is. If you have an STD, chlamydia, gonorrhea, HPV, get it treated. Don't pass it on. If you have HIV, wear condoms. Get treated. Take your meds. Don't pass that on to your, your partners in terms of decrease your viral load. So there's a number of things that you can do. There's a number of messages you can put out there. I'm a little bit biased because I, I kind of am steeped in this world in terms of the work that I do. But I do want to share those messages. So. That was so informative. Yay. Mwah, I appreciate it so, so much. So what did we get to do in bed now besides talk <laughs> about sex? Well, once we say cut, we'll see. Cut. Thanks. I am not cut. <laughs>